now we will talk about the stock control module where we can do diff many different actions regarding our uh, stock items like entering a new item or adjusting uh, an existing one um, making some price lists for each item define warehouse information uh, enter adjust stock values like um, the valuation methods for specific items we can also do stock transfer between warehouses and do stock receiving and stock uh, issuing transactions that are not related to a purchase or a sales transaction we can also make a stock taking or the accounting uh, transaction and then we can print many different reports like uh, stock transaction lists end of period reports and uh, stock taking basis so let's start by entering a new item where we can define um, item code or selecting an existing one to define if I selected an existing one the system will ask me at which level of information you want to uh, update or change this item information so I can define the basic information like the item description um, make some um, changes to the defaults uh, regarding the sales and budgets make some other uh, information uh, modification regarding the discounts, unit of measures, purchase defaults, and, and so on and so forth. So now, um, and of course we can define, as I said, different prices for the same item, but for different quantity ranges, for example. So if, if I, I sell this uh, item by one quantity to 10, the system will trigger specific price but above this uh, range of quantities I can propose a different pricing the same for the dates I can define a range of dates uh, that this price is valid for this item like specific season for example but outside this range of dates the system will propose another price we can also define the warehouse information different warehouses and then we can enter or adjust the stock values as I said the valuation method either whether it's first in first out or last in first out standard cost information default warehouse for the item and so on we can also make stock transfer between between warehouses the system will ask me from which warehouse you want to move uh, the items so from the main warehouse for example and to which warehouse uh, of course I cannot select the same warehouse unless I want to move uh, some items from specific bin within the main warehouse into the same warehouse but to a different bin but uh, on this example I will select for example another warehouse which is Budapest so the system will ask me which uh, item that you want the date first which item that I want to move this one for example and which quantities that you want to move and here we have the uh, bin information in case that we are tracking this uh, item by uh, bin information okay and also we have the stock received and stock issues it's a simple uh, receiving and issuing for specific quantities of this item from and an into the warehouse and I can put some uh, order information for reference but <coughs> this uh, transaction type is mainly for the uh, issuing and receiving without uh, purchasing or, or sales and for the stock taking it's a simple um, counting journal where we can define which warehouse that we are going to uh, count and then we can start selecting the uh, items to code and the, the system will default the current balance of this uh, item as per 
the transactions that are stored within iScala in a box but I can enter the uh, the actual item that I found during the uh, counting okay and then I can update so the system will adjust the current balance of the item to the actual findings that I entered and then post if there is any difference it will post it to the inventory gain or inventory loss ledger accounts we can also here print a detailed list of um, inventory transactions takes few seconds to generate the report so I have all the stock codes here with the balances and uh, available quantities for each uh, stock item we have also uh, end of period reports and then OK Another report that shows also all um, the stock codes or the codes uh, items that I filtered uh, while printing the report with the current uh, quantity and price information and the total amount for the existing uh, items. And also I have another report for the uh, stock taking. Okay, make uh, filtration criteria okay, you can select specific So now I have for each item code description information along with um, stock ticking quantity and signature. <coughs> 